Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home and thanks for stopping to watch what I'm going to do while I'm stuck at home under quarantine for no good reason. Well, actually, <laughs> you know as well as I do, it's the wise thing to do. So this is a 16 by 12 inch canvas and I want to continue playing with my swipe adventures which are sort of like ghost swipes, but not really. And I have, <clears throat> I did make an attempt to, uh, to do this previously and my bottle emptied itself under the canvas, which is gonna be an April 1st video because it was definitely me being the fool because I didn't tighten the top on. <laughs> and it happened twice, well, not as bad the second time because there wasn't much paint left in the bottle anymore at that point. So I poured that off and I'll be using that in another video shortly. Who knows when? Who knows when I'll post it so you can see it. And I've got to be kind of quick because it is a really warm day here in Florida. This is the best paint spreading tool I know of. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Check out my Amazon link underneath the video and see the OXO omelet turning spatula. You can see all the flotsam and jetsam stuck in your paint and you can get the most even layer possible if you leave it nice and level. And if you're trying to prime a canvas, it's even better if you're quick that means that you can actually manage to get it so that these marks will level out because of the flow troll. So what I really want to do, what I really, really want to do is use my new tool, which was just a lipstick container, except for that tape is bothering me. So I'm going to, I'm a little nervous about that. I'm going to put some of this color right in here and I'm going to try and get a nice even, let's start in the middle. I want that on both sides. And let's put it down it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't hurt if it is but I'm not going to be the one to do it let's put a little more in there whoops <laughs> I really don't want to have any more accidents with this this is a folk art color shifting purple and it's not inexpensive but it's more precious than expensive to me because I love to use it all the time So rather than waste the paint in the bottom of that, even though it might schmutz up the next paint I add to it, I'm seriously thinking about, oh, come on, just come out. You know what? I've got, that's what my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas are for. It's to shoe paint out. I was going to put the gold right in there. I think I'm just going to use whatever I get out of there right now. And rather than mess around too long, I think I'm going to put just going to add things where I want to. And that is a flow troll snake. Yes, I got it too. Cool. So what I didn't do last time that I want to do this time is put a gold strip along that edge. And if it falls down over, so be it. I'm going to use a little turquoise. Looks like more than a little. The turquoise is a color shift from folk art also. Really, the, co the folk art color shifts are some of the favorite things that I can possibly use. I did mix myself a new bottle of the... Modern Masters. Yes, I got it. And I am going to put some enamel in the middle there. Or somewhere, I guess. So the enamel is right here, I think. No, that's not it. That's not it. I've got four bottles of black. So the enamel goes right down the center. And then I'm going to put some more gold on either side because I like gold. And I keep wondering if I like blue enough to use it. And I think the answer is definitely yes. So let's just put it on either end. 
I'm just playing now. Forgive me. I, I make patterns. I probably make patterns in my sleep. So let's see what happens. I'm going to throw something in the bucket and grab one of my little cards. And I'm going to go from... I wanted the inside out. I'm going to pull that right over and put that paint right on the edge of my canvas. And do the same thing again. Right down over the edge. And I'm going to scrape that off into something that I can use it from. And I have the paint container earlier. This is what I poured off the, my accident into, so I'll just use that. Because that'll be something like maybe an inversion pour. Alright, I'm going to continue going along through these other colors. I'm not going to worry about going down over the edge. I am going to worry about all my bottles being in my way again not being able to spin my turntable, so excuse me while I move a few things. These are all experiments for me trying to figure out the ultimate way I want to swipe something. And people try and make those lines in between go away, but I really like them, so this is a perfect thing for me to try. I really like that turquoise, and if I don't get to see enough of it, I'm going to want more. But I'm liking the oil slick colors. The only color I didn't put in there that's the oil slick would be the, um, the folk art green gold. And I could really do that, actually. And it would be pretty neat if it would come out. Maybe it's not supposed to come out. I don't know. I say that a lot, and it's, it's never necessarily true. I like the turquoise and the green gold with each other very much. It may not even show up, but I am going to keep swiping from the enamel out. I think in this case, I'm just going to use that paint where I said I didn't care, because I do. I'm going to be a little sorry to see those patterns go, but I like leaving the colors showing in between. I think it looks especially cool, and I am going to just keep using the residuals that are on my little piece of acetate that's cut from uh, the protective layers that come on the front panel of a 16 by 20 inch canvas from my uh, value pack of canvases from Michaels. Yeah, now I'm going out of my way just to leave that little purple streak in between. I like stripes anyway. And as long as I keep pulling on that enamel and remembering to leave that little streak in between, it ought to be perfect. I'm just going to use that paint right now on a spot that I haven't so far, and that ought to be perfect. It looks kind of like we're going to get away with most of this. Before it gets so warm I can't do it anymore. I'm going to use this paint right now, right here on the end of the canvas because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath show more. Right next to because, uh, excuse me, it's called Because I Can. The second one is called Unlimited Possibilities and it's the second hundred videos on YouTube. I'm really loving these colors. I don't get bored of these colors very easily. I'm going to grab that enamel, leave my little spot, tap off my card, in a couple places. And use the residuals on the end. Perfect. Just the perfect amount of paint. We're not wasting anything. That's awesome. I, I'm always happy when I'm not wasting paint. <laughs> now that doesn't look like there's any more black enamel there. So, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to see what happens. Just going to keep tapping that off. It's not a fast process, but it might be a very worthwhile process. Whatever patterns I get out of that tapped off paint, I'll be happy with. I hope you can see all of that. I tend to wonder. It's 
still bringing it over to the edge of my tile. In case you can't see me, all I'm doing is tapping my swipe card and dragging it over the edge and looking for places that might need it and try not to tip the canvas too long because I don't really want it to uh, be crazy. These are larger than the others, but I think it's got to be random anyway. I didn't really get any of that green gold out of there, but if I wanted some, I could probably put a drop of it in anywhere I wanted to. And I'm almost done, which means I need to tell you if you are of interest, if it's of interest to you to help me stay on YouTube, then um, anything that you are inclined to do is welcome. Starting with purchasing a painting. Uh, I can't do classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida right now, but as soon as this crisis is over, you're welcome to give me a call or email me. My email is right below the video. And uh, I have Teespring clothing right below the video. All over print leggings and t-shirts are there and all kinds of other stuff. You just click one of the one of the items and it'll take you to the link. Also, my store is on my community, excuse me, it's on my YouTube channel along with my community board and my playlists where you will find 1,200 videos organized by 12 lists right now, 12 lists of 100 and uh, 13 lists of genres. Maybe there should be 14 soon because I have been using the basting brush so much that I ought to make an entire category just for that. So I see that I have not affected this end, and I did leave that one little green spot. But I kind of like having one odd, on, odd man out. Is that weird? I guess it's probably weird. I kind of want all of that paint right there. Yeah, I'm going to torch. I'm going to tell you guys what. If you watch longer, I mentioned that. You help me out because the YouTube algorithm only knows you're watching longer. If you give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. When you shop my Amazon link, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out. And I appreciate that very much. Um, if you're not getting notifications, you might want to turn them on. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, <laughs> let's see. Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Hey, I never even used the basting brush and I don't care. <laughs> uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is where I've been posting my artwork to fineartamericanpixels.com since 2013 and you can see all kinds of cool stuff there. Like, like more than 30 products if you count all the different kinds of clothing that are available. It's pretty amazing, honestly. So uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for people who are interested to see what I have edited so far of the artworks that I created while on YouTube so far so good. I think that I have remembered almost everything, but there's always something I forget. Oh yeah, there's a monthly drawing. If you want to contribute $10 or more to the studio, you will be automatically included in the monthly drawing. And the exhibition video that shares with the prizes for that drawing will be on the end screen of every video because I bulk edit them. I can see t canvas texture, but I'm trying to restrain myself very badly. That's just, it's all going to dry a level. Floetrol is a leveler. So I torched to release the bubbles in the paint. My paint pouring recipe is under the video if you want to find it. Also Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And uh, I think that's pretty much about it. You can make comments to me and send me an email if you have questions, and I'll be happy to answer your questions when I, when I find the time. I so love you guys. There's almost 86,000 subscribers, and um, I hope you keep coming back. Look for tomorrow's video on my community board or on Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook. I love you guys. I will hopefully see you soon. If you find my playlist, you might want to binge on them. I think that would be cool. Oh, I can't see anything anymore. Well, I'm going to try and zoom in anyway. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's very bright out here today and, and quite hot. So I love you guys. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.